Hey there guys, Tom Quell here. Hope you're all doing very well as ever. Quite an exciting thing today. These are two brand new Wampler pedals, but they are $99. So Wampler now have a budget line. This is amazing. Really, really, really cool. But these are actually really, really great sounding, really well built and have some really cool features built in as well. So we've got two pedals here. This is the Triumph Overdrive and the Phenom Distortion. The Triumph Overdrive is Brian's take on two of his favorite overdrive circuits. There's the Bad Monkey, which is that big dirty green pedal, and uh, also the SD1, the Boss SD1, which is one of my favorite overdrives. I absolutely love it, especially in front of a Marshall. It sounds really, really killer or anything in that kind of plexi JCM 800 vibe. Unbelievable sounding overdrive. So that's really cool. And then the Phenom Distortion is sort of a bit like a 5150. Um, it's Brian's sort of update of a, an older kind of distortion plexi style um, circuit, but much higher gain basically. So it's sort of like a 5150, but it's its own thing and it sounds really, really, really killer. So that's really cool. So we've got an overdrive and distortion to start with. The guys are super interested to know what pedals you would like to have added to the range, what kind of pedals. So Brian's done a video, you can check it out on the Wampler YouTube channel and let him know, you know, what kind of pedals you would like in this $99 range. But as I say, really well built, really good quality. All the knobs feel really, really solid. Very, very solid indeed. It doesn't feel budget at all. The switches are really high quality. Latching foot switches on here, which again, feel really high quality. Just everything generally is really well made. And there's some nice um, screen printed designs on there. Simple, but cool. They look really nice. They don't look like budget line of pedals. You wouldn't be embarrassed to have these on your pedal board especially because they say Wampler on them and they're absolutely fantastic. So as you'd expect with a budget line, you've got the same control layout on both of these pedals. They're a great size, top mounting jacks. So that's fantastic for keeping, you know, the pedal board nice and compact, which people are really into these days. The days of massive pedal boards are possibly starting to become behind as people are getting smaller boards together with multifunction pedals. So in this case, we've got three band EQ on both pedals. And then we've got a volume and a gain control on both pedals. And then a two voicing switch. So on the Phenom Distortion, we've got bright, and then we've got classic, literally does what it says on the tin. The classic is a darker sound, the brighter is a brighter sound. And then we've got smooth and punch or punchy on the Triumph Overdrive. So we obviously get a smoother top end or a punchier kind of mid bite going on in there. Now that's not it because there's also two dip switches on the inside, which is very unusual for a budget line of pedals. I've never seen this before. So if you open them up, dip switches inside allow you, depending on which, there's two dip switches basically, one for each side of the, the switch, the, the front mounted switch here. That allows you to get a glassier EQ sound and, a, and feel an attack from the pedal when you turn the dip switch. So you can either have a slightly less glassy or more glassy sound. And that allows you to dial in the sound of the pedal for darker amps, you want the glassier switch turned on, darker guitars, glassier switch turned on, brighter amps like a Vox, you know, for instance, anything with a chimier top end, you can take the glassiness out. Now today for this demo, I'm running the pedals direct into my Friedman uh, Dirty Shirley Mini. So that is a six V6 20 watt powered amp that is running uh, via my amp switcher into a Zilla 2x12 cab, which is mic'd up with just an SM57 in the cupboard under the stairs, so over there in a different room. Then that's going straight into Studio One, basically via my Antelope audio interface. And then the Axe FX3 is adding a little bit of delay and reverb in post. So my clean tone with the Ibanez TQM1 sounds like this. <laughs> Bridge pickup slightly breaking up. What a nice mid-rangey sound. Let's start with the Triumph. So we're going to put it in the punch setting. I've got the gain about halfway up. Let's set the EQ controls flat. And this is going to boost the Dirty Shirley really, really nicely. Uh, and it's a great sounding pedal. So let's switch it on in that punch mode. <laughs> Great sound. So let's go through the range of gain available here. So we'll crank the gain. Pull that 
pull that back and let's boost the front end so we're pushing the dirty shelly harder <laughs> Pull that back, drive the front end a little less hard. Awesome sound, great. So let's go halfway up the gain. Switch to the smooth setting. Sorry about the buzz in my studio. Okay, so sticking with the smooth setting, bring the gain up, let's play with the EQ controls. Okay, bring the bass out, treble up, drop the mid. Bass back up, treble down, back to the punch setting. Very cool, nice mid-rangey sound. Let's drop those back out again. And then finally back to smooth. So, great, great sounding pedal. Really, really good. At $99, it's fairly insane that you can get this quality of overdrive with, you know, really good feature set and really good build quality. So let's switch over to the Phenom. So the Phenom Distortion, again, based roughly on a 5150-ish kind of circuit. It's a high gain, really, really punchy, but that kind of classic and bright setting allows you to dial in the EQ sound for your particular amp. And again, it's got that glassy dip switch on the inside. So again, clean tone, bridge pickup. Switch it on, gains, you know, three quarters of the way up. We're on the, let's go to the classic setting here and set the rest of the EQ roughly flat, just a slight treble boost on there.
awesome. Absolutely love it. Feels great to play as well. Really, really, really cool. Let's quickly switch to the bright setting. <laughs> Really awesome tone. So again, this is what we started with. Okay, back to the classic mode. Crank the gain all the way up. Very, very, very cool indeed. So lower gain settings, gain halfway. Bring the volume up just a little bit. Let's increase the treble on the classic setting. <laughs> Responds beautifully to the volume control. Okay, so let's go back to the bright mode. Again, we'll play a little bit with the EQ. Bring the mids out, do the classic scooped vibe, although my guitar is not really set up for this kind of sound, but should give us a good attempt. forte in terms of playing but great sound all the same very cool back to classic <laughs> Bring the treble back, now my dog's interested, hello. <laughs> awesome searing lead tones, really, really great. Amazing, love them. These are fantastic value, they look great, they sound great, 
really good feature set. Again, the dip switches inside allow you to tailor them to your particular amplifier, guitar and setup. So, you know, big, big, big triumph from the guys at Wampler. Awesome. So you can check them out again on Wampler's uh, Reverb store. You can buy them direct or you can get them from your local retailer, obviously that stock Wampler pedals and uh, check them out online. There'll be a link in the description of the video down below. If you enjoyed the demo guys, make sure you click the like and subscribe button. You know what to do. Hit the bell notification icon to make sure you never miss any more of my content. Thank you for all your support. If you want to support me further, click the links in the video description for all my lesson content, so on and so forth. All right guys, thanks for watching. My name's Tom Quayle and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.